and welcome back to another video. Today I am filming a paycheck budget and this is going to be for the payday on June 23rd. And so I made myself a little sticky note just so I could keep track of things of which paydays were paying which things. And this is because I had to move a couple things around due to my husband missing a couple days of work that are unpaid. So I wanted to make sure all of my rent and all of my bills were going to be covered. So this is just my little sticky note to help me keep track. So all of our bills are paid for the month of June. So this paycheck is gonna cover July bills, which I've already paid the utility gas bill and the car insurance bill. So let me show you my bill payment tracker. Since we're now covering July bills, I have utility gas and car insurance. So my utility gas is $10.55 and my car insurance is $114.69. So then I went ahead and put it onto my paycheck tracker and I've already paid these so I went ahead and filled in the actual amounts but this uh, because June has five Fridays we do not have an income number two that is a roommate income and they they pay um, as much as they want every Friday to cover the amount and so they've already paid us their full amount so the next two weeks we won't have an income from them but my husband did get overtime on this check so his paycheck was $818.53 I budgeted the $1055 for utility gas $300 for a partial rent payment and then our car insurance was $114.69 so our fixed expense total was $425.24 leaving me with $393.29 to work into my budget gas we do not currently need any gas this week so I went ahead and marked that as zero grocery I'm budgeting $150 Coffee, I'm budgeting $20. Gas station goodies is going to be $70. And then fun money, I'm budgeting $30. Household, I'm also budgeting $30. And then a, we do need a birthday gift this week. So I'm budgeting $70 for that birthday gift, which gives me a variable expense total of $370 giving me $23.29 left over. I do not have sinking funds and I do not have any extra debt payments this week but I do have $10 that I'm sending to our savings account. This is extra because I want our savings account to have an even um, an extra even 300 and we are ten dollars short of the additional 300 that I'm talking about because like I said the next paycheck is going to be short so I wanted to make sure I had an extra $300 for rent so this just I had like 290 to put towards the extra rent savings and I needed 10 more dollars so that worked out perfectly and it gives me a remainder of $13.29 so this remainder I just like to leave in my account as like my buffer I guess people call it and that accounts for all of our paycheck so this was just a super quick breakdown I just wanted to um, film this for you guys and show you how we budget on just uh, one single income this week. Thanks for watching. Bye.